The Fishing News is brought to you by Interlux Marine Paint. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. I'm going to start things off this week by letting you know that our final official show of the season here in New England is set to play, take place next weekend, April 2nd and 3rd in Hopedale, Massachusetts. This is the MSBA's annual Sport Fishing Expo. I'll have a complete rundown on the show in next week's video, but in the meantime, be sure to check out thefisherman.com for more details on this great show. All right, moving on into the reports, we're going to start off in Connecticut. We've been getting a lot of different reports this week. As it seems the nice weather, well, aside from the little snowy storm we saw this past uh, Monday, it's really getting people in gear to head out and fish. And probably the most talked about bite right now is with the holdover striped bass and many of the tidal rivers across the state. I received a shot of a nice schoolie land by Mike Kelly on a recent outing. You might remember Mike as he was the winner of our inaugural Best Striped Bass Photo Challenge last year, which won him a trip to Costa Rica, as well as the coveted cover spot on the March issue of the Fisherman Magazine. Now stay tuned for details on the 2016 Best Striped Bass Photo Challenge in the May issue of the Fisherman Magazine. And also in Connecticut, I spoke to Gene from Black Hall Outfitters this week, and he uh, checked in real quick. Let me know that uh, he wanted really want to pass along word that he's looking for a kayak fishing pro staff leader that will represent the shop in Old Lyme, as well as Old Town and Ocean Fishing Kayaks. If you'd like a little bit more information on this position, please give, please give Gene an email at blackhalloutfitters at gmail.com. It's a pretty cool opportunity for the right candidate. All right, moving on into Rhode Island. Prior to the storm that, well, never really lived up to its hype this past weekend, there was a good bite on the cod grounds with a lot of nice fish to the low teens being landed. For example, on Saturday's trip on the Francis fleet, they were back to the dock early with a full boat limit in the early afternoon. But, unfortunately, since the weekend, the winds have kept most of the boats back at the dock, and the rest of this week looks kind of iffy, but the coming weekend looks like there might be a shot to sail Saturday or Sunday. So keep an eye on the weather and call ahead if you're looking to head out for cod this weekend. And up in Massachusetts, the freshwater fishing reports continue to come in with very good catches being made from the Cape on into the mainland. I talked to AJ from Red Top Sporting Goods this week and he noted he's been landing some really big yellow perch along with some of the guys from the shop with a few going well into the state pin eligibility weight class but for the most part they're just out having some fun so they let all those, those uh, perch go. They also had a pair of huge five plus pound pickerel weighed in the shop over the weekend which were in fact submitted for state pin eligibility. Some congrats on those awesome catches. Well, there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. The Fishing News is brought to you by Interlux Marine Paint.